Well, of course we got kicked out. And whose fault is that? I'm not the one that stepped on the only dry twig in the entire cemetery just when that guard came by. But you are the one who believed Mrs. Cox when she told you that Lex Luthor is alive and well somewhere in Perpetual Pine Cemetery. But A, how could he be alive? And B, if he is alive, what would he be doing hanging on a cemetery? Does that make any sense? Well, I didn't disbelieve Morning, her or believe her. Double I'm a reporter. A reporter follows leads. That's what they do in case you didn't... <gasps> Right? Yeah. Well, you're just about the prettiest thing I've saved so far. Though the day is young and my experience is somewhat limited. Who, who are you? It's for me to know and you to find out, little missy. Now, by thunder, this is a story. A new superhero in Metropolis. Who is this guy? Clark. Yeah, I, I was a... Clark, you're a very lucky man. A couple of inches way. either way, you'd have been under the wheels. You know, it's a shame about this suit, though. Not much they can do about tears like that. What? Excuse me. <sighs> it's a bill. He's charging me $32.50, a small price to pay for being plucked alive from the snapping jaws of certain death. All right, I want you to track this guy down, find out who he is. I want an exclusive. Well, we should start with that costume. Whoever he is, he didn't buy that off the rack. And there's a tattoo on his hand. We should check that out, and we need to talk to Superman. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Clark, this is big. This is huge. What could possibly be more important than the story of the century? I have to change my suit. <laughs> 